You make me so fucking mad when you tell me what I can and can't. People think just because you're spiritual that you're not allowed to be angry. They think that we just live in the love and the light. But here's the truth. Spiritual people can be some of the most angry yes, people. We just do a really good job of coping with our anger and transmuting it. Welcome to Mindfulness Moments with the Spiritual Hoochie. Because Spiritual Hoochie's got a lot to be mindful about. Marijuana? No. Tobacco? No. Herbs? Yes. Today I am smoking on a stimulating blend. This particular blend is a good blend to manage the mood. Because like I said, as spiritual hoochies, we got a lot to be angry about. And in today's segment of Mindfulness Moments, I want to talk about how we transmute that shit like the alchemists that we are. Here's the thing about anger. Anger is a very, very powerful tool that we can utilize in a very constructive manner. But many of us, but many of us don't know how to utilize our anger. We let our anger utilize us. Here's the thing about anger. Anger is nothing more than a signal to inform us of an injustice, of some form of frustration, of something that channeled a very strong and powerful and invoked a very strong and powerful emotion within us. But because a lot of times as in spirituality and mostly religion, people teach us that, oh, we shouldn't be angry. We should be love and light. But here's the thing about anger. We're human. We all get angry. And as humans, especially spiritual hoochies, we got a lot to be angry. Instead of letting our anger utilize us, we got to do a better job about utilizing our anger. So how do we do that? First things first, you got to mobilize action when it comes to that anger, okay? What purpose does this anger serve? That's what I want to know. Ask yourself, what purpose am I serving through my anger? Once you have identified the purpose that you would like to serve with your anger, you can then transmute that energy to serve that purpose. You don't have to express your anger in a constructive, in a harmful manner, in a manner that harms yourself. Uh, others. You can utilize that anger to construct it in a manner that serves the purpose that you intend to serve. How do we do this? First things first, acknowledge and accept the fact that you're angry. A lot of us have a bad habit of taking that anger and letting it bottle up on the inside of us and hiding it away, tucking it away and not allowing ourselves to be angry. Be fucking angry. You are allowed to be angry. As I stated, we have a lot to be angry about. So I challenge you to accept that anger without judgment. When you feel it coming up, take a moment, pause, and breathe. Just breathe. Don't express it. Just acknowledge it. Take a moment. And breathe. And something I like to practice is I like to set intentions around my inhalations and my exhalations. So, for example, if I'm feeling anger, I want to inhale peace of mind. And I want to exhale that anger. Let that shit go. Okay? I want to let it go. Because I don't want to allow this anger to utilize me. I want to utilize this anger. Another really important thing to do when we feel anger is identify the trigger. What the fuck made you mad? Yes, we have a lot to be angry about. But what are you angry about? What triggered that anger in this moment? And take note of that. Take note of what that is. If you want to physically, literally take note of it, do that if that works for you. Or maybe you want to just take a mental note that in moments where people judge me for the way I dress, that shit triggers something in me 
that is rooted from when I was younger being caught fast for whatever the fuck. That triggers me and that makes me angry. Identify the triggers. Journal about it. Write it down. Let it out. Don't hold that shit in. That is not constructive and that does not serve you. This one right here is a game changer. When you are expressing your anger, when you are expressing the things that have invoke some form of an emotion within you when you are excuse me when you are expressing the when you are expressing your anger use i statements because here's the thing nobody wants to feel like they're being blamed for anything no one wants to feel like they have to defend themselves at the end of the day we are all responsible for what we feel we are all responsible for our lives so with that being said when you're expressing your anger, utilize I, for example. I feel triggered when you tell me what I can and cannot wear. Instead of, you make me so fucking mad when you tell me what I can and cannot wear. Because again, this is about you. It ain't really even about them. What I find that this does, when you speak in I and you allow the other person to not feel like they're the blame, this encourages effective communication. So now when this person responds to you, they don't have to feel like they gotta defend themselves. They can speak hopefully in a manner that is effective and constructive to the conversation and y'all can get to a resolution. When it comes to this anger, you gotta channel that shit through a positive outlet because again, Anger is a very powerful tool for manifestation. It is all about how you utilize your anger rather than allowing your anger to utilize you. What outlets can we channel our anger through? Maybe you're a creative like myself and you channel your anger in your art form in your music. I got a lot of music where I have just expressed my anger and I just let that shit out. And once I wrote it down on paper and I got in the studio and I let that shit rip, it felt like a weight lifted off my shoulders. So transmute it creatively, whether you want to paint, throw fucking paint at the wall, whether you want to create crochet, whether you want to draw, whether you want to write, whether you want to do like me and make music about it, whether you want to journal about it, whether you want to write a short story about it, whether you want to get up and twerk and shake it off, shake it off, shake, 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 shake that shit off, okay? Because again, when you transmute that anger to serve the purpose that you're trying to serve, again, like Auntie Solange said, do nothing without intention. When you attach the attention to anything, whether it be anger or joy, that's how you transmute it. And that's how you allow it to manifest constructively and serve the purpose that you intend to serve. Lastly, and very much so, not least. Practice a moment of mindfulness. This moment of mindfulness could be enjoying a herbal smoke blend that serves the purpose of whatever it is that you intend to serve. For example, me. I'm trying to harmonize my mood, which is why I'm smoking a specific blend that'll help me do that. Maybe I'm going to twerk it off. That's mindfulness. Maybe I will breathe. That's mindfulness. Maybe I will journal. That's a moment of mindfulness. Maintenance. They always want maintenance. It's so, uh, it's so annoying. But anyways, learn to embrace your anger as a spiritual hoochie. Because like I said, we have a lot to be angry about. And it does not serve us or others to hold that shit in and allow that anger to bottle up rather than allow ourselves to utilize this anger to to transmute it in a way that serves us and others in a constructive manner as spiritual hoochies embracing our anger can lead to profound growth and elevation and i like to encourage you to embrace your anger because we have a lot to be angry about if you like to be in community with other spiritual hoochies they got a lot 
to be angry about, then I invite you to join us over at the Spiritual Gucci Sanctuary on Patreon. We got our own group chat going down on WhatsApp where we support and encourage one another in our spiritual and our sensual journey as divine feminine goddesses in our de- dark divine feminine era. Okay, because we are living in that. Why? Because we have a lot to be angry about. Again, I invite you to join us over at the Spiritual Gucci Sanctuary on Patreon. See you there.